Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. In the previous episode, we created a search function and called it four times to make four searches on each account, and we used this using a for loop. Now, in this episode, instead of calling our function a set number of times with a for loop, we're going to use a while loop to call our function until we reach 150 daily points. Now, to do this, we're going to need to track our points. And so I've decided that we're going to use the Bing dashboard to track our points. So over here, after you log in, the dashboard has this section called Earn Every Day. And this Earn Every Day section has trackers for each activity. So like Browse and Earn, Shop and Earn, PC Search, Mobile Search. It gives us a tracker of the number of points we have. So here... It's zero of 150 points, and so this zero is the important number to us, and uh, all we have to do is just use the inspection technique that I taught you guys in the previous episode, and so let's get started with that. So I'm going to say um, copy, whoops, not copy, I'm sorry, inspect, and this corresponds to that because it's highlighted, and... Here it says 0 of 150 points, and it's sandwiched between this opening div tag and this closing div tag. So this is the text attribute. And so I'm going to copy its XPath. Oh, not that. Copy, XPath. And now we're going to make a new function. We're going to call it def get points. And the purpose of this function is to give us the number of points we have in our current login logged in session. So we're going to pass in the browser. So our function knows what a browser is, and we're first going to have to go to this uh, URL. But let me just paste this so I don't lose it later. So first we want to go to the dashboard, and then we're going to say time.sleep for one second, so that way we let the page load for a second. And then we're going to say browser.findElement by ID, and in, oh, not by ID, by XPath, and then in here, we're going to put in the XPath for the 0 to 150. And then to get the text, we're going to say dot text. And that gives us the 0 of 150 points text here. And then we're going to say dot replace. And we don't really care about anything after this uh, first number. So we're going to strip. Uh, z so we're going to say replace of 150 points. And we're going to replace it with nothing. So we basically delete it. And... We need to create a variable. We're going to set this to a variable. So we're going to say num points equals that. And then once we have that, we want to return num points. Now, one more thing before we move on is num points needs to become an integer. And to become, make it an integer, we need to do this. And this is important because uh, when we when we get this number, so we'll be able to get zero, that's not a problem. But it's a matter of what kind of zero it is. So if we don't have this int wrapped around here, it's going to look like this. This is the zero that we're working with. And if we want to say is zero less than 150, this is like comparing apples and oranges. This is a string, this is an integer. They're not going to be able to be compared. We need to look a little more like this. So now you can actually compare the number 150 instead of like the character or the string or the Unicode one zero to 150. So this it takes care of that for us. It turns this zero in quotations to this actual integer zero. So we're going to return the num points and uh, this return function is a lot like the mathematical like f of x. So like if I had like f of x equals x plus one if I made like an x column and an f of x column, if I gave x the value of 1, f of x would be 2. If I gave the x value of 2, the f of x value would be 3. So now this these f of x values are a lot like this return statement. So if I wanted to show this uh, mathematical function as a function in Python, we would just say def f of x, and x would be the parameter that we're giving it. So x can be different no matter what function we're giving it and if we say return x plus 1 it'll give us this f of x value based on what we give it for x so if we had like print f of x 
sorry, print one, f of one, that would give us two because it would put the one here and then one plus one is two and then it would return two. So it would print out two because this value would evaluate to two. And then if we say print f of two, that would give us three because if we give it th two, two plus one is three, it evaluates to three and it returns that for us. So hopefully that makes sense on how return works. So now if we, after we sign in, if we say print get points and we give it a browser, it should give us the number of points we have. And I'm going to comment this out because we don't really care about um, searching at the moment. We just want to see if we can get the number of points. So let's give it a run. So python bang.py. And so we're first going to log in and we're going to check the number of points. Now we're actually going to like stumble into an issue, but I'll elaborate on what's going on. So it's going to yell at us. It's going to say, hey, we can't turn zero of, 150, zero of 100 points into an integer because there are words in here. And this is because um, when we said dot replace um, of 150 points, it didn't find a of 150 points because it says of 100 points. So it wasn't able to replace it. So why did this happen? Well, when you reach 150 points, it moves PC search down. So let me show you what it originally looked like. PC search was the third item here. Now PC search is the fourth item and it's getting this element. Our XPath gets the third, uh, so 0 of 150 points, 0 points. It gives us the third tracker and we need this fourth tracker. And to do this, we're going to, uh, we're going to need to check the titles and make sure that uh, our point trackers correspond to the correct title. And to do this, we are going to make some checks. So we're going to say, like, so I'm going to write some pseudocode here. So if our title is PC search, then our uh, num points is going to equal the text of the third element. Whoops. All right, yeah, so it's going to be the text of our third element. But otherwise, if it's not PC search, then num points is going to have to be the fourth element and its text. So this is our pseudocode. So if our title is PC search, then this is what our num point should be. Otherwise, it's going to be the fourth one. So let's do that. So over here, let's just uh, inspect this. And awesome, so it gave us an A tag and these correspond. However, this is not very helpful because if we look at the X path here, eh, it's just finding the ID of uh, that, that A tag. And it's not really helpful to us. We want to use this div tag right above it, its parent. So this contains this A tag. So we're going to copy this X path and I'll show you what this looks like. And so the title looks like this, two, three, four, and then nothing, and then one. Sorry, not nothing, it's like zero. So, and then here it's two, three, four, nothing, three. So this gives us the title, and uh, it gives us this, whoops, this parent div tag, and we actually want the child of that div tag. So to get the next thing, we just say slash a, because as you can see here, this is the papa, and then this is its kid. And the a tag is after that div tag. So this will give us that a tag. And it's just a different way to write the same. Um, it's a different way to write the same x path as this. So you'll get the same element here if you use that x path. But this is definitely more helpful because it tells us that we want the third title, not just this PC search title. Because if it moves down, if we use just this a tags x path that it gave us, it'll go here and it won't really tell us anything helpful. We actually want to be able to use the X path that gives us its position relative to this. So we're gonna create a variable called title and we're gonna set it equal to element by XPath. And this is the X path that we want. 
and then we want to get its text. So it'll give us PC search. So now, if our title equals equals PC search, hopefully that's spelled correctly. Yeah, PC. Actually, it's lowercase s. So if it equals PC search, then our num points is going to be that third one. And then we need to say else. And so otherwise, num points is going to have to be int. And we're going to copy this. Whoa, it's moved over all the way. All right. And then we need to get the x path of that, of this element where it's moved down. So we're going to inspect it. And then we're going to copy this x path. And then we're going to move it down here. So now you can see that two, three, but then instead of four, it's now five because it's moved down one. And then this is still the same. So now num points should be handled here. And let's give it a run. And actually, let's also set num points to none so that way we ensure our scope. So. Um, I'm actually not sure if this is needed in Python, but we're just going to keep it here anyways, just to be safe. And let's run it. Uh, let's see, I think I have an issue here. Yeah. One too many parentheses. And if title equals equals PC search. Oh, my bad. This is not Python or correct syntax. So, all right. So now it's going to log us in and then it's going to check to see um, how many points we have. And then it should sign out if we have 150 points already. And so we have 150 points. And oh, my bad. All we did was just print it out. So, um, so now we have the number of points and we need to be able to use this number of points right now. So we're going to create a variable and we're going to just call it points and we're going to set it to the number of points we have in our session. And so we're going to create an if state, uh, a while statement. So we're going to say while points is less than 150. And so what this means is while our points value is less than 150, we want it to do something and we want it to search until points finally equals 150, in which case, this statement will now be false because 150 will not be less than 150, so it'll end. And after that ends, we need to sign out. So uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to preserve the code that we have here already. And so what this will now do is while our points are less than 150, it'll make four searches. And then after we make four searches, we need to check the number of points we have again. So we're going to say points equals get points. And we're going to say browser. So after we make four searches, we're going to check how many points we have. And if it's less than 150, then we have to make four more searches. Otherwise, we're going to have to, uh, otherwise this loop will end and then we'll sign out. And then we'll log into the next account and we'll gain 150 points on each account doing it this way. So if we make four searches every single time uh, and then check, it might be a little suspicious. So one check is we're going to do is we're going to just generate a random number between uh, three and six, let's just say. So that way it'll make three to six searches and then it'll check points. And then if we're less than 150, then it'll make another three to six searches and it won't be like a constant number. So that's really good for us because it creates more uh, uncertain, uh, unpredictability and and that's good for making a solid bot that acts more human-like. So we're going to save this and let's see if this works. So the first account already has 150 points. So it'll log out of that first account after it checks the number of points we have. And actually, if we do it like this, you guys won't be able to see the points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print the number of points for you guys. So that way you guys can see as we uh, run this program the number of points that we have. And so the first account will sign out 
because it already has 150 points, but then the next account, it'll make searches until it reaches 150 points, and then in which case, it'll sign out, and then it'll go on to the next account. So let's just run it and see if that works as intended. So let's see. So we're going to sign in. And we're going to head over to the dashboard. Wait a second. And then it's going to print out the number of points we have, 150. So it's going to sign us out. Perfect. And then it's going to sign into a different account. And it's going to check its points by going to the dashboard. And the number of points we have in this account is zero. So we have to make some searches now. Perfect. So it's going to make three to six searches. And then it's going to check the number of points after it's made those three to six searches. All right, so it should almost be there. All right, so now we're going to the dashboard and we're checking the number of points we have. We have 30 points, that's not 150, so that means we need to make more searches. Awesome, so now we can just let it run and it'll make 150 points for us on every single account and we can just sit back and relax. So thanks for watching guys, like and subscribe if you want to see more content from me and if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the uh, comments below, comment section below and see you guys in the next video.